which is unequivocal respect for the elder. That's rule number one. Wisdom begins with that. So what I will do, I get up in the morning. Every elder around me must be greeted with a lot of respect. And in the process, I also learned that what I had to do was to tune the elder. Tune as you tune the radio. You tune the elder. And that's what I would do. And so the things I would do would be to try, you know, a, a James Brown impression. And then I would get the, <laughs> the elder to talk. Okay? I wasn't anything like James Brown, but I would do it. They know what I'm doing. And then they would start to talk and say, uh huh, okay, we know that I will talk. And once they open their mouth to talk, I sit down there nice and quiet and soak everything that is given. This is how this story we call God came into existence. And this brother had to have done that in some ways. Because he went through, he and I went through a school called St. Augustine, not the same location, but we went to the a school with the same name. Augustine. And therefore, you know, we all went through a similar experience. So there must be something that, you know, allowed him to be able to express himself like he's doing right now. One of the things that I found, you know, was once I expressed that to him, it was just seconds for him to get exactly what I was saying. We were on the same page. And he's been doing that then all his life. The teaching that he expresses to you is, is an expression of God. And every black person, when they know acting, are expressing God. Michael Jordan is definitely expressing God in its specific terms. God is. Perhaps I should, I should just give you the picture first before we go into telling and answering questions. Because you, you need to begin to feel God. And it's such a pleasure to be here in your midst. Because I know, and as I showed Brother Phil, who and I were sharing this recently on the, on the air, I have tons of signatures of the white institutions right here that are petitioning the administrations to have us come and teach them that. Excuse me, Brother Oyebo. You can move move the mic down, sir. Yeah, you ain't got to hold it close. All right. So How do I sound? Move it back, sir. That's good. Right How there. How do I sound? How's that? That's better? That's better? Okay. Okay. Have you figured out? A okay. little bit. A little bit? Yeah. In? Okay, hello? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. That's good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> we were sharing that with, you know, on the air. That's they're better. here. That's better. We have Harvard. That's their best. We have not just the students, but the faculty as well beating down the doors of the administration to have us come and discuss like we're discussing here. Is that, is that right, brother? We got it. It was right here. See what you all, this before, you see what it is that you all get when you go and you see when we stay in the underground with brother, brother Shabazz, brother Dot, brother Sarnetta. These little things are no joke. Right. I told you the underground is the place because this is where everything is going. Everything is going from here. Absolutely correct. So it gives me such a joy when I connected with him. He and I hadn't seen for maybe seven, eight years, you know, because we 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 were on the we were on the, on the 
battlefield, mm -hmm. various battle battlefields. But when we connected, and I always thought, oh man, he just, oh, he said, Jay, you gotta, gotta come into to, to the to the underground. So it is that this came out of the elders, some of which are ancestors right now. Every place I saw a black elder, I went close and I picked up every bit that I could. Like I said, when I see a James Brown dance and express himself, I picked up messages. I learned. That's one of the greatest genius of this present generation. <laughs> such, I, didn't, I wasn't old enough to see him as such, but I saw James Brown. I saw uh, uh, another great brother, you know, from all from Georgia. One is from Macon, and one is from Augusta, Georgia. Augusta, GA, as I said. <laughs> Macon, Georgia, and Augusta, Georgia. Okay? And they express the genius in blackness, just like you know the, the brother sitting next to me here. So in that expression, I was able to learn and transform it into whatever form I need to express it, to digest it even further. I would say to myself, if I could become a James Brown of mathematics, right. mm -hmm. <laughs> if I could become, you know, a, a, a satchmo of mathematics, because they're all expressing mathematics. If I could become the Duke, okay, the A train, the B train, the <laughs> all. Those were the motivations. That's, that's, I feel what they express in my veins and they, they energize me. That is the dynamics of spirituality. It's the dynamics of the black genius that only God could create. So in the process, I was able to get all the history or as much history as I could to tell me who I am, to tell me what it is to be a black person, to tell me how is it that we are in a prisoners of war state that we are in right now? How come? How come we are POWs, which is unfortunately referred to as something called slave that has no meaning to our situation? A slave is someone that doesn't know what's going on. We are anything but that. We are POWs because of what we know. It's the wisdom that got us to become prisoners of war. When the invaders were going to our land, they were going to look for a Benjamin Banneker. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They were going to look for George W. Carver. Mm -hmm. Who else would feed them when they were starving in the mm -hmm. south? Who else? Mm -hmm. They knew that they was hungry. So they went to look for a Carver. But instead of sitting down and negotiating, the consultancy fees. <laughs> How much it costs to get the services of George Carver. They took the guns instead and put it in their head. That's how we got here. That's the reality. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. If anybody told you anything different, they're wrong. And you can prove that. So it is that I got totally educated about what it is to be black. What is blackness? Blackness means chemistry. That's black.
Two words. Ham. Mystery. Ham, I said, Kamat. Mystery, I said, magic. Cam mystery, the mystery of the ancient black people. Cam mystery. That's where Martha came from. So this brother is expressing with so much confidence, how do you think he's able to do that? Carver was able to take a little thin 